Hi everyone. I'm running a little behind today. And that's actually what I'm going to talk about for my post today are two apps I'm absolutely obsessed with. And that's why I'm running behind because I was actually working on a project on them at this very moment. Hi guys. So sorry I'm late today. Um, hi. Thanks for joining. Um, I am working on a project for my school. I'm doing a multi-campus scavenger hunt. I'm part of the common book um, committee here on campus and so the scavenger hunt is going to get students up moving around. Um, I put clues on social media. They go try to find folders on campus and inside the folders are going to be questions related to our common book this year which has the theme of Appalachia essentially. Um, so I have, I've been working on trying to find ways to post to several different social medias. Uh, Facebook and Twitter tend to play well with each other. Um, they automatically post to and from each other fairly easily. Sometimes it's a little buggy and it doesn't work correctly. But a lot of our students have Instagram, so I was trying to find a way to get Instagram to talk to Facebook and Twitter. And so I found an app for that. And I wanted to share it with you guys. The app is called Latergram. So you can kind of see this symbol hopefully here. Um, it kind of looks like a little clock and it is gram like G-R-A-M-M-E. -M -M -E. And so it does have a website version and an app version. I use the app version a lot and I'll show you why that is with the other app I'm obsessed with right now. But what you can do with this app is schedule posts to go on Instagram. And then through Instagram, I can tell Instagram to post the post to Facebook and Twitter. Now this will not automatically post to Instagram for you. Instagram currently doesn't allow users to automatically post. Um, so you can see here are a few that I've already posted for my scavenger hunt. I could go back to them and uh, post them again or schedule them for a new time if I wanted them to come back across my feed. Um, so I really, I've played with a few other scheduling apps and this one does not mess with my formatting at all. Um, what happens is on my notification menu, um, I get a notification saying, hey, you have a post that needs to be posted. You click on it and this screen is the one that will come up. You can have your media that you've uploaded. I've also already pre-typed in messages and when you go to post now you would open it in Instagram and it will upload. I also save mine to Google Drive when I'm working on it. Um, and good that worked. It usually goes pretty quickly. Our wireless internet has been a little sketch recently. And it seems that it's still acting a little sketch, but the post would pop up and then you can um, put in your text that it will automatically save to your clipboard. So I really recommend using Latergram to post things to your Instagram account. So the other app that I've been obsessed with is called Canva. And again, it has a web-based version and an app version. But for my scavenger hunt, I needed to make graphics for my social media. And you can see here's a few that I've kind of been playing with while I'm learning how to use the app. But the first neat thing about Canva is it has a lot of free options. Some of them are paid, which I'll show you in a second. But you can actually pick which social media that you're going to be putting this on. And so, for example, the Facebook cover, I made one for my Facebook is going to be small and rectangular to really fit in that space. Since I've been working on Instagram, it has that square photo motif that Instagram prefers. Um, with Facebook, Facebook prefers a more oblong rectangle, um, and so does Twitter. So I think that's kind of neat. It puts the dimensions appropriately uh, appropriate for that post. And then it has a bunch of pre-made layouts that are free. 
You can tell when they're not free because they'll have little coins down in the bottom right corner. Um, especially when you start from scratch with these backgrounds, you can see how if it has a little coin that it's not free. Um, but what it would allow you to do, everything on here is a drag and drop system. The same is true for if you're using this on your computer. It'll have the watermark on it until you pay for it, and you don't pay for it until you decide to post it to social media. But I've been using this app for a little while now, trying to learn how to use it, and I found there are a ton of options uh, that you don't need any paid photos because there is the upload option where you can upload your own photos from your own drive. Um, or if you have any posted to Facebook, you can also upload it in that way, or you can also take a live photo. So I just think that's so neat. Again, everything on here is just a drag and drop system. Once it's over here, you can resize it to the size that you would like it to be. Um, <clears throat> and this app is really saving me, especially when it comes to um, getting good layouts and fonts. It has a lot of really nice fonts built in for free. Again, um, some of them will end up being paid uh, once you scroll to the bottom. You can see they have the little coins down at the bottom. But they have a lot of pre-made pre text graphics already that you can pull in, readjust the size, place it to where you would like it, and you can always double tap it to put your own text within the text uh, graphic as well. Um, so again, I'm really loving Canva. It's super easy to use. I stink at making graphics. Um, if any of you are on my social media for this project, uh, you would see that my graphics are not very good. Um, so by coming over here and choosing one of their layouts, um, I'll go ahead and delete all these that I just dragged over. Um, I could bring this. This is one that I just used today actually to create. So I'm using their layout. I just double tap the text and put in my own text that I would like in the message. Um, you can change what uh, font you use. You can change the size, um, the positioning of it, and things like that very easily uh, with this. Um, and again, you can put in your own little tweaks. It also has a lot of little additional things. If you're good at making your own graphics, it has plenty of shapes uh, that are an option and plain text boxes. Um, they have a lot of little free cartoon type graphics that you can use within your photos as well. And these are kind of nice um, to put in there. So what I do is I create something on Canva and then you can download it. I download it as an image and when I've downloaded it as an image I could save it to Google Drive or save it to directly to my iPad. Do, do, do. Takes a little time. Again our Wi-Fi here for whatever reason today is very slow. So here's my awesome photo that we just created. So after I've downloaded it, again, the downloading process, if you have any items that cost something, it'll say, well, you have to pay for this item. And again, it's a coin-based system. So I think you get like five coins for a dollar or something like that. I haven't purchased anything on here yet. And again, you can save it to Google Drive or just save it directly to your iPad. So once I create an image um, on Canva, then I go over to Latergram and I schedule it to be posted for when I want to post it uh, later. So on the Latergram you just go to add and you see this is my photo roll here or you could take a picture live. Put in the photo that I just created in Canva back into Latergram if you need to do any cropping here, you can, but again, on Canva, I selected a size that's appropriate for Instagram, so I don't need to worry about that. Push done. You can go ahead and put in what you want your text to be um, whenever you post this to Instagram. And that's it. It lets you use emojis and things like that. Um, you can schedule it, put in a time and date. And again, this is not going to post it for you automatically.
um, but it will give you a notification saying, hey, you need to post something right now, um, and you'll just go straight to Instagram and post it. So if you ever wanted to go, you know, scheduled it and you decided you want to do it early, they always have the post now option. Um, and again, I don't, this isn't working that well right now just because our Wi-Fi is being so iffy. Um, so I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, but I haven't had any problems with that app prior to this moment. Um, so check out that. Check out Canva. Check out Latergram. And let me know what you guys think. And thank you for joining me. And tune in next Wednesday at 2.30 for another edition of our Appetizer Wednesdays.